You take it out, shoot the visual. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, you feel me? Life. Um, we went to Tampa so George can perform. He got invited to Top Dog. Um, that's a national event that Allen have for the best of the best in football, basically. And he got an invite. It's only it's invite only. Down here in Orlando, Florida, R and R Top 100 Top Dog Invitational. George come down here to compete with QB1. Gonna be a lot of talent down here, man. We gotta see who's the best in the nation. That's what it's all about. Rotate. Hey, we're throwing it firm, but we're not throwing it hard. We're staying nice and flat. Oh, first, I'm going to interview. Hey, what's going on? This is the last podcast. Yeah, yesterday they came out, out the registration, checked in, had media, you talked to all the boys, all the boys did media, <laughs> then they lined up for competition, they did the, uh, the corner, the, the, the corner throw, they did the, the rollout throw, they, uh, they competed on, uh, the, uh, quick, the quick, Quick slant, quick pass, and then they did the uh, the long throw. Yeah, he aced the long throw. It was like right at 40 yard, like 39 point something. They did like what he normally do, like combine stuff, like the the forty run, uh, how high, how the uh, long jump, how high they can jump, um, things like that. All the combine, I think he did okay. Not pleased because I know he could. Do better with his speed, and for some reason, for some reason he just not. He just not. So not. I'm not satisfied with his uh, overall numbers. I feel like they could be better, but it's only up to him. I can't do it for him. He was awesome. He uh, made all the throws. He um, got a beautiful long ball. Uh, he understands defensive coverages and when 
boys are lined up a certain way, he'll go over there and he'll change the play. You know, he walking to his receiver saying, hey, he lined up on the inside. Look, I need you to go around, change the route. You know, let me know that he he understands the game and he know how to read the coverage. And then on Sunday, we're going to do seven on seven. Now, how your team going to do on seven on seven? I don't know you. The competition for the seven on seven was amazing. When she, I saw him out there playing receiver, I'm like, what? For him to go in and never played receiver before and to help his team pull off a victory, that was big. He never played that position. And that quarterback, he did decent. He did very good at quarterback. He, he did his part. The last day they did the seven on seven games and George did an awesome job. Um, they played, it was four teams, so basically each team played three games, and George got MVP each game. Go, hey, go back, switch, switch. Corner route, Jamel. Yeah. Positions. He was there for quarterback, but he went in and played multiple positions to help his team win, and they lost. But even him being on the field, it was to take pressure off other boys because to have a boy that size and with that type of athletic ability, it frees up other boys. And he was able to pull off some decent plays and I was surprised he even knew how to run the routes and it, it was just amazing for him to walk away with three MVPs and never played this position before. You guys know this one down the top dog. Got two bean shots, couple dots. Sean, what you got on your neck? Oh yeah. I'm very proud of my son and all the accomplishments that he has done at an early age. Um, we started out, he was uh, four, and it just skyrocketed from there. Basically, you know, Shooter Visuals, a good cameraman, my brother, we started with my son camera. Uh, my son was shooting, then it went to my uncle, to my brother shooting, till we hired and shooters visual to do it and it's just been a, overall a very blessing and good experience I'm very proud of george i'm very proud right now i believe george he, he could be something very amazing to come out of this area man it's all on him it's all on him what he want to do you know what he want to become of this he's just naturally gifted he's He's just 
a natural football player. And a lot of the stuff that's in him, I don't know what's all in him, but in times like this weekend, I saw more. There's so much more in him that we ain't seen.